Our world is full of commentators who never make choices and decide. They comment about those making strategic impact and they cannot jump out of that water. Our business people, I'm ashamed of them. Something as easy as this and they will never do it. Hi, welcome to Believers Global TV. On this channel, we create Christian content that will help you in spiritual growth, bringing you from powerful word of God, powerful prayer sessions, night videos, many more. First, the Bible says our faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it is what you hear that builds you up. It is what you hear that you engage that truly profit you. So I encourage you as about to listen to this word of God. Please open up your heart because God is about to visit you. God is about to transform your life. God is about to turn your life around. So I encourage you if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe like and share this message with others the year has just begun but some people's fire are just are going dim already but don't be among them keep the fire burning keep the passion and the fire alive for god let someone know about jesus because you are alive so without wasting much of our time you've had me say it here in koinonia if you come from a poor family, don't let a poor family come out of you. If you come from a family of witchcraft, don't let witchcraft come out of you. If you were raised with all due respect by irresponsible parents, don't waste the time arguing and hating them. And then you wake up and see children all around you and they call you daddy. You are almost tempted to say you are not my children. But time has gone. Many of you right now, you are wasting time in anger. You are wasting time in bitterness. Anger and bitterness does not lead you to your desired heaven. The day you settle down and choose. Apostle, I was raped when I was small. I sympathize with you. I don't downplay your pain. But if you stay there complaining, you will get to 40 years, 50 years and not make any quality decision. Apostle, I, I hate my parents because when other people were going to school, they were there around, dancing around masquerades. And the result now is all of us are poor. What are you doing about it? They have run their own course. Can I tell you, in my world, I have taught you koinonia. In my world, an adult is not 18 years. I respect that statistics, but it's a deception to many people. There are many, many adults calling themselves children. In my world, the moment you can decide and you have an awareness of the consequences, you become an adult immediately. How soon? Immediately. Let's stop pampering people to produce destructive destinies. You see someone 35 years, 40 years, and he says, I'm a last one. What does that mean? <laughs> of course, I'm not being sarcastic. Yes, thank God that you are so... Destiny does not care, ladies and gentlemen. The one who decides, if it be thou, bid me come. He said, come. The one who chose to walk out on water was the one who experienced that miracle. Hallelujah. Our world is full of commentators who never make choices and decide. They comment about those making strategic impact and they cannot jump out of that water. Our business people, I'm ashamed of them. Something as easy as this, and they will never do it. Preachers who are talking like ah, that scripture is not really correct, and yet they will never do anything impactful. The world does not reward commentators. It is those who get up and, and do something with their lives. Are we together? There are many people who insulted fathers, insulted mothers, parents now. Now is their turn. Their children are suffering worse conditions now. If your father and your mother, with all due respect, lived a mediocre life, the first way out is to find another father and mother who reflects what you want to become. I told you that the principles of followership is twofold. Number one, follow them. Number two, looking on to Jesus. This is how we become in the kingdom. Follow them. Is the first principle of followership there are some them that represent where you are going do you know why God creates puts leaders in front of you those leaders are an attempt to model your future 
that where you want to go to. So leaders are a personification of outcomes, a personification of decisions so that you can see the outcome in the life of others. Seeing somebody fail and then you go and fail again, you are the one who is twice as unwise because they already failed for you. The beauty of leadership is an opportunity to see the scars of people. They will show you their scars that I made this decision and this is the consequence. Now I am teaching you to save you the 20 years I wasted in my own life, a leader will say, and yet many people will not respect it. I have taught you here in Koinonia that do not only respect crowns, respect scars. Because both crowns and scars are teachers. Any man you see wearing a crown, look very well. Beyond the regalia, look at his hands, you will see a scar. A scar, a testament of wrong decisions, a testament of endurance, sometimes a testament of right decisions. Is someone learning? Ask, bring sample 10 young believers. Someone who would tell you, I'm going to be a great man of God. And ask him, what are you doing now? He will tell you, well, uh, once in a while I listen to some messages if I have the time to. And then I just know what I'm focused on writing what God told me. My dear minister in the making, you will never arrive there by that behavior. No. No. There are many like you who wished ministry. Unfortunately, it does not happen by wishing. The Bible says, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Walk it out. Hallelujah. There are many gentlemen right now. They cannot tell me the last time they read a book. A quality pro-destiny book. Many gentlemen cannot tell the last time they open themselves to receive quality strategic mentorship. Receiving mentorship at your terms is a joke. You will never amount to anything. It's like a teacher, a student telling the teacher, I'm not ready to learn now. Just be patient. Allow me rest. When I'm ready, I will call you. Teacher says, nonsense. <laughs> are we together? How many people are poor and broke today? but will never respect the wisdom that comes from people who have been helped by God. No. Hallelujah. You want to become a great mother and you see a woman who is exceptional with her home and her children and you disrespect them. Do you know every time I see great people, I look past their results. I want to buy into their mindset because their results are consequences. Did you hear that? Their results are consequences. There are decisions that led there. And I want to hear it. What is your understanding like? What are your decision-making processes like? Man of God, what decisions have you made that brought such power, such grace, such influence to your life? Let me sing that song again. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. Now, let me tell you this. I came from an evangelical background and being that my whole training and my exposure in ministry was from the northern middle belt and context. You know, we got that foundation of character, moral excellence, but there were certain things about administrative excellence that I did not have the opportunity to see because of the background. As God began to expose me to a global audience, I knew that there were some things I did not get by the advantage of my background and that I would have to reinvent myself. And so back to the formula of followership, follow them looking on to Jesus. There are things that them cannot teach you. Because the them too are students. It's just that they have gone ahead. Are we together? And I began to learn administrative principles. These are things that you do not get just by impartation. No, you get by knowledge. Serious, constructive, definite knowledge. And I started getting the materials, opening up myself to the various trainings. In addition to being a man of God, to become an effective leader leader of resources, leader of people. You see that now? 
you want God to trust you to manage his resources and all you have is a sincere heart that is good but that is not enough no the dynamics of managing resources resources there being both human and material resources this one is a learned skill it comes by training it's not just a gift hallelujah there are many believers who are trusting God for increase and promotion you want to pastor 100 members there is a skill to pastor 100 members you want to pastor a thousand members with the mentality of the one who pastors a hundred members no God loves his sheep too much he will not trust you with that kind of thing there is something you need to know the dynamics of conflict resolution the dynamics of people management there are several things you need to learn at an elevated state in addition to prayer fasting and the ministry of the word decisions what is the difference between someone who is running a big shopping mall and another person who is struggling with a small shop it's not just exposure is their decisions the person small there is either starting small or he has refused to grow refusal to grow is a decision and God and life can respect it but the consequences that come with stuntedness will also meet you there without growth there is no fruitfulness fruitfulness is a direct product of growth if you see a baby that is pregnant would you run away is that normal come on talk to me adults is that normal no no matter what genetic explanation they give in africa we'll call that person a witch wherever you came from you are older than this body you are entering and you will talk to the spirit and say you can't be that young and maybe in some places they may even completely throw away that that because fruitfulness is a product of growth if you go and plant mango seed and by the next day you see a tiny branch and you see mangoes bigger than it you will not eat that mango because we were trained to respect fruitfulness when we find growth are we together now so most people brag about being fruitful but they do not want to grow if you do not grow you cannot be fruitful be fruitful in ministry be fruitful in business be fruitful in destiny it is a product of growth please say growth and i have taught you that success is not what you seek success is what you attract by who you are becoming your growth is how success is attracted to you are we together the moment you transit into superior versions of you you begin to attract a certain kind of people a certain kind of resources a certain kind of influence these are irrefutable spiritual laws Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus increased I like that scripture and Jesus increased even though the Word of God even though the fountain of wisdom he subjected himself to this law he increased what does that mean another measure of that increase came to him in wisdom in stature in favor with God and with man once upon a time I would never be able to say the whole globe should listen to me once upon a time I was still alive yet you will not come to hear me once upon a time I was even anointed yet you will not come to hear me what happened growth growth thank you thank you thank you thank you for staying to the end of this message I know your life has been blessed I know your soul has been blessed by this message and I encourage you, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, oh, I'm saying, I'm begging now, oh, please subscribe to this channel. And also like this message you have just listened to. And also share with others. In that way, you're also doing the work of an evangelist. So, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Let someone know about Jesus, because you are still breathing. God bless you. See you in another video. Bye. 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 <laughs>